Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Sweet Leaf Shorts. I'm Alan Vaughn. Today we're doing Exotic Quarter Pounders. Let's roll. So what I've done so far is I went ahead and patted out these quarter pounders to my liking. Um, you wonder what I season with your basic salt, pepper, garlic season. I make up my own uh, here, and then I went ahead and followed it with the frag out flavor uh, bunker buster. It's the steak and wild game season that they make there. A little bit of difference in the meat that I noticed. The ostrich did not hold together as well as the rest of them. Um, I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to struggle with that one when I'm cooking it. The kangaroo appears to be the leanest of all of it, just based off the marbling. The camel has a wild smell to it. Um, right out the, pack, it went, the packaging when I took it out, I noticed it's got a little funk to it. I just don't know if that's uh, normal or not. Natural, it's my first time cooking up and eating camel. So your guess is as good as mine. If y'all don't see me for a while, probably got sick. Um, the antelope seems to be about the closest to uh, ground beef that I had in there. Uh, I would say more like a ground uh, deer. It was more like a ground deer burger. Uh, to me, uh, very deep in color, like the kangaroo. Um, as you can see, the camel's got a lot more fat to it. The marble, you can look at that. But um, check out these seasons if you haven't uh, tried the Frag Out Flavor brand. They're phenomenal. Uh, this is the Steak and Wild game. I've had it on venison before, and we'll give it a shot with this uh, exotic game. All right, folks, so we finished these 16 uh, quarter pounders that we cooked up, and we had the antelope, the camel, the kangaroo, and the ostrich. Like I was expe expecting, the ostrich was falling apart on me pretty bad. Um, from the looks of it, I haven't tasted anything yet. Looks of it, the kangaroo looks to be the driest of the meat to me. Um, as I said, we treated them all the same. We had the salt, pepper, garlic, and we had to frag out a bunker buster. Go ahead and give a try on each one of them let you know what I think this is the first time I've ever had any of these I've never had antelope camel kangaroo nor ostrich um, in my past so let's go ahead and give a, a try on each one of them the antelope looks a little dry it is dry reminds me a lot like your typical white-tailed deer meat it um very lean not a lot of fat in not a lot of juice to it so let's uh, move on to the camel. So I'm interested in the camel. The camel, I have a little concern with the smell out the packaging. That's good. That's really good. That's moist, juicy. Had a right a good amount of fat in it. That's really good. That camel meat is really, really good. I've always heard camel's good, but that is very good. On to the kangaroo. That's different. It's good. But it has a very gamey taste to it. The camel wasn't bad at all. It had a good mixture of fat, but the kangaroo, remember I said it was very lean. It um it's very it's good. It just has more of like a almost like a smoky taste to it. Um, as I said, we use the same seasons, but it has a like a smoky taste to it. It's it's good though, very it's very good. Ostrich is um a little dry. And it too has some of a, um, like a smoky taste to it. Not like the kangaroo nearly as much as the kangaroo, but it does have um, a little bit of a wild taste to it. Um, overall, I will say that camel was the best of the four. I would probably go camel, ostrich, kangaroo, antelope of the four. You can get these uh, online at Uncle Henry's exotic meats i swear i got mine from i think they averaged about 15 bucks a pound across the four of them not bad at all um saw some zebra online for 99 dollars a pound stayed away from that but uh you know i'm getting ready to get off here my buddies are coming they're here to have some of these burgers we're gonna throw some of our sauce on the sweet leaves barbecue original sauce uh we'll put that on there and probably slap some pepper jack on there as well redneck it up some throw some buns on here um thank y'all for joining me sticking with me uh, thank y'all for y'all's support, ongoing support. Uh, promote happiness, guys. The world's getting crazy right now. Um, not just in our country, but in others. Keep those folks in mind. Uh, love y'all. Thank you for your support. And uh, until next time, see ya.